Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a little bit of a possible issue uh, with the 300. So, as y'all know, I installed a phone mount, essentially, uh, in the car. It's one of the uh, stick-on dash mounts. It actually went right here. We've already removed it. Um, I've already actually finished this video. I forgot to make an intro, so that's my bad. But, um... Anyway, if you have one of these dash mounts, be very, very careful of this. Um, I'm going to kind of show you all a little bit of why I went ahead and moved the um, phone mount to here instead of up on the dash. Now, I wanted it to be, you know, around here for uh, directions, that kind of thing. Uh, but, like I said, ended up moving it. And, uh, well, we'll get into the video and I will show you all why. But... If you have one of these cars with the padded, you know, padded kind of dash, be very, very careful of this. But anyways, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So y'all know, I put this phone charger or this um, wireless charging deal here in the 300 uh, last weekend. Today is Wednesday. So it's only been in here a couple days. I come out today and the thing is leaning uh, real bad. Now, I haven't used this thing but once, like just up the road here and back, and it seemed to do fine, but if you notice the material on the dash, it is peeling the material. So, I guess, <laughs> and if you try to move this, you can see this really pulling that material. So, I'm going to try to get this thing off here. Um, try to find somewhere else to put it. I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it. But, try to find somewhere else to put the thing uh, for right now. And uh, hopefully I can get this off without messing up my dash. Okay. So, uh, it's a little bit later. I just installed this footwell lighting. Um, and me and my grandpa got this mount off. So, what we ended up doing was taking it peeling it a little bit and taking a razor blade and kind of trimming the adhesive uh, we got it out with no residue so that's good with also mm -hmm. out monkeying up my dash now i went ahead swapped over to this uh, air vent clip and i'm gonna try it and uh, see if see if that works but if you have a chrysler 300 with this you know padded dash be very very careful that um i'll show y'all something to kind of look at i mean obviously you can tell if it's padded or not you know but you can look around the edges and whatnot and see um but i mean again if it's squishy like that that is <laughs> the padded I guess kind of leather feeling stuff um but like i said i want to go back up to the house we're going to try this air vent clip see if that works any better or i imagine it'll work better but we'll see if it works um i know when these these move around a whole lot so i'm going to try that and uh, we will see if it works any better all right, so I got that attached into the top of the air vent. Um, that way you still get a little airflow around the thing. Um, and now, if you're wondering how good this whole little deal works, the way these work, you have the ball mount here, which adjusts uh, this thing. And then you have the air vent clip and this set, kind of like a set screw, a clamping screw. Um, I got that tight with two fingers and I can take and pull out the actual uh, dash piece with it so works pretty pretty decent so I'm gonna take the car up the road here and uh, see how it works because it does it does move with the um, little pins here so I got it set to where it'll rest against the top of this piece here uh, and I adjusted it to where 
it should be good uh, with it resting there. So, like I said, I'm going to take it up the road here, um, try it out, and uh, see how it does. Okay, so uh, that does work pretty decent. Uh, now, it's not like super solid. You know, it, it can move up and down a little bit. And it does have a little bit of play, but um, it works. So, one complaint kind of sucks, um, but it is what it is, is it blocks the clock. So, like I said, this thing doesn't work, so I need to get a new radio, but it is what it is. Um, it's better than peeling the material off my dash. Uh, if I wanted to, I could probably move it to this vent which I might do, um, like I said, just to be able to see that clock. I know most of the kids nowadays in the newer generation can't read that clock anyway, <laughs> but um, myself as a 2000 kid, I know how to read that clock, so I would like to have it. Um, so I might go ahead and move it over, but as far as that goes, that works. And uh, like I said, as long as it doesn't peel my radio bezel off um well it should be should be just fine so anyway um if you have a phone mount on your chrysler 300 uh, pay attention to that because on a hot day like today it's 94 degrees and i know it's about two o'clock um it's one of the coolest days we've had in a couple weeks be be mindful of that pay attention you know if you have your phone in there it's going to be even worse um, or like if you have the thing extended out like that one will and I know that one will and that truck just be mindful of that because that puts more leverage um, of peeling the material on your dash so I'm sure for one that's not cheap and I know for a fact that's not fun to pull out of the car because uh, from here all the way over is one piece now when i bought this car I looked at another car that uh had this airbag blown which this car had this bag blown and it had the dash airbag blown and to replace that you have to take the entire dash out of the car because the airbag is up here and from the research i did i know that is not fun so again just be mindful of that uh, pay attention, you know, use your brain, but I didn't think it would do that, uh, to be completely honest, I figured that stuff would be more attached than that, but it isn't, so again, be mindful, just pay attention, um, and whatnot, so anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and move that over to that other vent, try that out, and uh, see how that works, alright, so there we have it. That is much better. I still see the clock um, feeling, you know, just right here. The passenger still gets air out of that vent and they still got that vent over there. So it'll be fine. Uh, one thing I could see, you know, if you're in the, during the winter months, uh, if you're blasting the heat in this thing, uh, this may get hot or it might get too hot. I don't know. We'll uh, figure that out. It also kind of helps with the cable situation. Um, so that's nice, I like that. That's much much better, still not ideal, but it is much better. So guys, um, we gotta go do some stuff in Conway. Um, we've been doing some delivery driving. Um, I'm gonna make a video on that at some point. And I think I wanna try that with this car at some point, see how it does. Um, but I think, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So like I said, we got these uh, footwell lights installed in this thing. Uh, they look good. Nice and everything is tucked in. Um, like I said, that's one of my biggest complaints with this thing. Because um, I don't think you could tuck it through here. I think you would mess around and sever this wire. But anyway, guys, I think that is going to be a wrap for today. So again... You know, if you have this kind of phone mount or any kind of phone mount uh, that sticks to the dash in your car, uh, you might want to look at that. Um, 
you know, I don't know if it would cause a whole lot of damage, but, you know, better safe than sorry, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, guys, like I said, I think, I think that's going to be it for today. I also want to say I do have some stuff for the 6 that uh, we need to get installed. Just kind of waiting for a little cooler weather, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, guys. I guess, uh, like I said, I guess that's it for today. So, if y'all enjoyed today's video or find that helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.